Basically, uh, we received funding from the Air Force as well as our senior design uh, class to build a four-legged uh, robot. Basically, uh, we want... Uh, basically, this was a re original request from Air Force. They want um, uh, a quarter paddle, a uh, support like robot, can work it itself and self determine where it is, determine the environment. And, and the reason the reason we want that is because um, the Air Force is looking for small expendable robots that can that are compact and can be airdropped to location for military reconnaissance. And also there are other applications in search and rescue, for example. And the advantage of walking robots is that they can climb obstacles that real track robots can't, like for example stairs, which is important in urban environments. Okay, this is the Ultra Capacitor Project. Uh, basically what we're doing here is uh, utilizing the Ultra Capacitor to store energy from a regenerative braking system for automobile applications. Of course this is a scaled down version. Uh, the flywheel represents our vehicle. Uh, basically we start up the flywheel with the battery and then we take the battery out of the equation and store the energy from the flywheel in the capacitor. And then when we restart the system for acceleration, we use the energy from the capacitor to supplement the battery, therefore taking load off the battery and uh, conserving all the energy that we would have lost during braking otherwise. Anytime. Uh, our project was the vacuum chamber for testing the other devices. Uh, this was a EE 495 uh, senior design capstone project. Uh, my team is uh, right here, Jason Wright and Chad Supers. My name is Travis Borton. And uh, here's our chamber. Uh, the goal of this project was to create a multi-purpose chamber that uh, can control all the variables inside the uh, inside the chamber because with nano devices we're dealing with such small substances, you know, the minute changes inside the environment can affect our measurement readings, can affect, can affect how the device changes. So what we did was we created a chamber that was pressure controlled, illumination controlled, temperature controlled, it has uh, two mass flow controllers in there so we can introduce different uh, gas sources. And we can also uh, take measurements, uh, IV sweeps. And the goal of this is we want to be able to use it for you know, the, the advancement of research in uh, nano wires and possibly new memory sources. And we, uh, this reads the pressure, goes down to this controller over here, which you can see as the interface. Now you can read the interface, the, uh, the, the data from here, but it's also transmitted to the computer and displayed into our uh, application that we wrote. This is our mass flow controller. Uh, it introduces uh, gas into the chamber at very precise amounts, and you know because different types of gas, you know, other than ambient gas, uh, can affect the system in different ways. And then we also have our data acquisition board, our power source, and then our amplifier circuits for uh, reading the temperature inside the chamber. And then up at the top. We have all the electrical leads uh, from some of the components inside the chamber that transmit back to the computer and all sync up with our uh, application that we wrote.